Hi, how's it going? So as some of you may know, I am a homeschooling mom of three little ones. So school has just started for the year a couple weeks ago and uh, between that and sports, my painting time has been, you know, cut <laughs> like down to a very minimal. But I am still able to get some painting time in, uh, usually in the night when I put the kids to bed and then I just have some nice quiet time and I come out here to my studio and paint a little bit and that's very nice and I love it so much. It's, it's my therapy, it's art therapy. Anywho, in today's tutorial, I'm using um, a hand-formed stone, and I actually made this stone myself and hand-formed it. And if you're interested in seeing how I hand-form stones and how you can do it very easily, um, then check out my previous tutorial. I've got a tutorial and show you exactly how to do it with some quick set cement. Pretty simple stuff. This is the stone that I hand-formed. It's nice and round, and I've got it flat on one side. I wanted to try it flat on one side. I use cor a coral color, I use a mint green, and I use gold and white to tie it all together. And it really is a beautiful design. And these are on a navy background. So if you're interested in seeing how to go about painting this, then Keep watching. Okay, so starting off here, my base coat is an English Navy by Apple Barrel. And I've already found my center. And you want to grab yourself a palette or a tray. Um, and go on and grab your tools. I'm using uh, the crochet hook bottoms and um, nail stylus dotting tools or embossing tools. And um, I am going to use the DecoArt Americana in Snow Titanium White. You just want to dip your tool and get the paint going up the tool just slightly, just a very, very small amount. You want to make sure that the whole bottom is completely covered. And don't worry about that little dollop of paint on the end there that looks like it's about to drip off. You don't want to wipe that off. You want to leave that right where it is. You make sure you go straight up and down. And you don't want to push the tool all the way to the stone or canvas that you're working on. You just want to push it down until you start to see the paint like pillow out a little bit and then you can pull up. Now here I've let my center dot dry completely before I move on. Um, this is my stencil. It's a 16 slice stencil. You can find this stencil in my Etsy shop and I will put a link to my Etsy shop in this video's description below. And you just want to line up your stencil. It's got a nice little hole there in the center. You're just going to line that up with your center dot. And that way you're not um, trying to find um, the center uh, of the crosshairs. You know, if you go ahead and put your center dot on first and do your guidelines around that, then that's a, a nice little um, way to make sure that you're uh, guidelines are nice and lined up for you. And these are nice and flexible stencils, so you can go ahead and just bend it down and around the stone and hold it in place. I am using a piece of soapstone just because I find that it comes off um, quite easily uh, versus like a charcoal pencil that I do have a hard time removing from uh, my substrate. So I'm not a big fan of the charcoal pencils, but um, this is just something that I've tried a few times and it does seem to work pretty well. Any suggestions? I've I've used chalk and it comes off super easily, but um, I know a lot of people don't like that because it does leave some residue and it can make it hard to uh, keep your paint to stick. Um, but soapstone is a nice alternative, so maybe you could give that a try if you've got some lying around. And I'm just going to draw a line going straight down, so I just want to get the slices on here. And I'm going to draw all of the 16 guidelines on. You know, sometimes you can just use, uh, you know, four of them or eight, uh, but I, I wanted all of them. So I blew off the excess, and I'm going to go ahead and grab my size two nail stylus dotting tool. 
and I'm using uh, Deco Art Americana paint, and this is called Sea Breeze. It's kind of hard to see, so I've got some paint on it, but it is called Sea Breeze. And I just am going to paint out of the cap. So you want to dip your nail stylus ball all the way in the paint. You don't want the paint to go all the way up the stick, but go ahead and get your ball completely covered. And I'm just going to line up my dots. I want to get them as close to that center dot as I can without actually touching it. And I'm going to start with the, uh, the first four. And then I'm going to put a dot right in between each of those. And then we're going to go ahead and put a dot in between each of those as well. So there will be a total of 16 dots around the center dot. Alright, so the next paint that I'm going to use here is Deco Art Americana Paint in Bright Salmon. And go ahead and use your size 5 nail stylus. You just want to put a dot right in between two of the previous dots right on the outer edge. So right in between and the outer edge. And you're going to put a dot on each one all the way around that first ring. And it does seem to help to go ahead and line them up just like we did when we started here. So top and then the bottom, and left and right. Putting that extra dot on there kind of threw me off a little bit. And then go ahead and go right between those. It just helps with spacing, I've found. So go ahead and put one in between each of those. Kind of ignore that first, uh, that second dot that I did there. <laughs> and then now go ahead and go in between each of those. And that just um, helps you to see how much space you've got. Because if you didn't have enough space, you could just uh, not push all the way down and not make such big of a dot if you wanted to do it that way. That would be totally fine. Eight, and then we crisscross and then right in between those. We're going to be using gold. And I want to talk about um, some gold metallic paints. Um, I find the folk art brand to be um, sticky. It has a snapback. I'm trying to show you that here. Um, and then I found the Sanitas paints, and they don't have um, hardly any snapback at all. I mean, it really, really makes a big difference when you're um, when you're using them with your big tools and stuff. So I do prefer the Anita's metallic paints over uh, any other brand, pretty much. Okay, so we're going to use the smallest uh, blue crochet hook and these are the crystallites crochet hooks and you want to get a good fair amount of the uh, gold on the end of your tool and again don't wipe it off just leave a little glob on there so we're going to go crisscross and then we're going to go right in between those and again, just right in between the previous row of dots, so right in between two dots on the outer edge there, go ahead and place the dot. And then straight across from that one. And you always want to uh, be in the habit of dipping your tool um, after you make a dot. So you want to dip and then dot and then re-dip and then dot and then re-dip. <laughs> Alright, so once you've got your eight gold dots on there, go ahead and grab your smallest nail stylus dotting tool and dip it in your white. We're going with, back with the white. 
and you want to make your first dot on the center of the outer edge there and then you just want to go ahead and keep on dotting you're not actually putting any less pressure on the tool it just the dots will naturally get smaller and then go ahead and re-dip your tool in just some paint and then you're going to walk the dots it's often referred to as walking the dots you're going to walk the dots down the other side so I go ahead and redot that first initial dot just so that the sizes are nice and even for the other side and go ahead and just hug that gold dot as close as you can and just keep on dotting all the way down to the base you can do that to each one of these and it's going to give it like almost like a lace look so go ahead and reload your tool again find the center and then keep on dotting all the way down one side without redipping. Go ahead and redip once you're ready to start the other side. Dot that first dot and then hug them all the way down that other side. Here's the last one here. It gives it almost a like lace look. Very pretty. Okay, we're going to go with the gold now. Same size tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a few dots running down right about the top of the uh, white dots there. And just make about uh, whatever you can fit there, three or four dots. Just kind of walk them in towards the center dot. All right, and for our next set of dots, we are using uh, Teal Mint. And it's DecoArt Americana brand. And you always want to shake your paint. All right, using uh, the yellow um, crochet hook. I'm going to go ahead and go right in between uh, each of the gold dots of the previous row there. And the little bridges, I like to call them little bridges. Go ahead and put a dot right in between each of those. All the way around and we're going to have eight of these. Next I am using my very smallest wooden dowel and I'm going to go ahead and grab some of the gold and I'm going to make a dot right on the outer edge of each of the green larger dots there. And just follow along those guidelines there. Just follow them on out. Okay, grabbing our largest nail stylus. We're going to go ahead and hug around and dot all the way down those larger dots. Let's go ahead and do it down one side, re-dip, and then just start next to that first initial dot and dot all the way down to the base of that green dot. Alright, going back with the coral color, I'm going to go right in between these little gold bridges that we just made here, all the way around, so eight dots around, and then grab your smallest nail stylus. We're just going to kind of fill in that space with a couple more little coral dots there, going right down in between those bridges, if you can fit them, and if not, just skip this step. And you can always pause by just, if I don't skip ahead a little bit here and there or speed up, then this tutorial would be <laughs> probably about an hour long or more. Going back with the smallest wooden dowel, um, and I'm going to put 
some more of the white. And I'm just going to put a dot in the outer edge of each of the coral dots. In fact, you can guess what we're going to do next. Yep, go ahead and grab your largest nail stylus, dip it in that white, and go ahead and hug those coral dots and dot all the way down, down to the base. You can count them out if that helps you. You don't have to. Sometimes they don't have the same amount. If you're, you know, your main dot is just slightly off, it may not have the same amount of dots on each side. But you know what? It's not going to matter. By the end of this, it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous stone. No one's going to be looking and scrutinizing. And if they are, well, then they don't need to be looking. Don't be hard on yourself. Just go ahead and go with it. Enjoy the process. Going with the orange crochet hook, go ahead and get that gold again. I'm just going to go right in between those white little lacy bridges. I'm just going to put a gold dot all the way around. And then I noticed that I had one dot that was a little close because I kind of spaced them out as I went on. So I just want to show you how I take care of that. Just dampen a cotton swab and just kind of uh, twirl the cotton swab as you go and kind of lift that paint away. And then just re-dip and re-dot and you're good to go. Go back with the uh, the first initial, the sea breeze green paint. And this I'm using uh, my smallest wooden dowel again. And I'm just going to put a dot right in between the gold bridge and the gold dot that we just put on all the way around. Followed by um, grabbing your larger, it's a light blue tool. And go ahead and go back with that green color. Make a dot right on the outer edge of each of those white little lacy bridges we just put on. And then right in between each of those large green dots, I grab my um, wooden dowel, the smallest one that I have, and I'm just going to put a white dot right in between each of those uh, larger green dots. All right, so at this point, I have let it dry. Um, that first layer of paint and it's top dot time. Um, so before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and take off uh, any of the remaining guidelines that I drew on. And the best way to do that is just to get a cotton swab and get it a little bit damp, nothing soaking wet or anything, and then just gently rub off your guidelines. That way you don't forget this later on when you go to seal your stem. Alright, once you've got all your guidelines removed, go ahead and grab your red um, crochet hook. And now we're going to go right on top of the teal mint green dots. And we're going to go with the lighter color of green, which is called Sea Breeze. And you just want to get a smaller tool than the tool that you first used. So any size, you know, whatever you prefer, I am just leaving a slight darker green ring. So if you want to go with a smaller tool, that would be perfectly fine. I use the red tool here. So we're just going to go and do that with, um, with the first ring of larger green dots. All right, now we are going to grab some coral and then some white, and you just want to add a little bit of each because you're pretty much doubling the amount and you don't need a whole lot. And then I usually just grab a nail stylus and stir it up. And now we're going back with that same red tool because that was the same size tool that we used with the previous row. And I'm going to put a dot of the lighter color right on top. Just going to leave a little ring of the darker color. All 
I'm going to go ahead and grab my very smallest nail stylus and I'm going to put a little top dot on that coral ring there in the center of the stone. And you can just completely skip this step if you want to. I just wanted to show you this was a variation that you can do if you would like. All right, grabbing the smallest wooden dowel again. And I'm going back with the lighter green, the sea breeze green. I'm just going to put a dot on either side of that, um, the gold dots there, all the way around. And then I'm going to go back with some of the lighter coral color that we have. And I'm going to put a dot on either side of the larger green dots, all the way around. And then grab your light blue tool and we're going to take some of that um, sea breeze green and I'm just going to top dot each of the larger green dots there. And now I'm going to grab some of the titanium white and I'm going to mix it in with each of the lighter shades that we have right now. Let's go ahead and make them one shade lighter. And I'm going to use my very smallest blue crochet hook and I'm going to put a top dot on each of those um, first row of the green dots using the same size tool just like we did before. We're going to put one top dot on each of the coral color. So these are, this is a third top dot on all of these sizes. And now this is the yellow crochet hook. And I'm going to go ahead and put a third top dot right on the very outer large green dots. So it's three dots all together. Second top dot, I guess I should say. And that's it. The stone is complete. Here we get you a good shot of the ring so you can see the, the rings going on. So that's it for today's tutorial. Here is the stone one more time. I hope you liked it. And if you did like it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, feel free to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you would like to see in a future tutorial. And if you're new to my channel, of course I would love to have you as a subscriber. Till next time. See ya.